Welcome back to the vlog. All right, let's just get into uh, some more collection stuff. So this is a spare binder that I've got. Um, and again, this is just extra cards. And um, I acquired this binder. Um, shoot, I'm trying to remember. Probably uh, last year, or is, or is it already two years ago? I have no idea, but this was fairly recent. Um, I added in. Our Zapto CX box here. This is everything that I have opened. Um, obviously, we have more celebrations, extra leftover cards that I actually really don't really know what to do with because I got so many extra cards of uh, the celebration stuff. It's not even funny. Like, I've got so much of that. All right, let's see. I believe we already covered the celebrations set. In a previous video but i just figured i would bring this up again because this is probably one of my favorite uh modern binders that i've completed and again we got all the starters and i my very first etb at pre-release of celebrations my first box i pulled mew on the very first box y'all that was oh gosh that was that was sweet and then my buddy that bought the set with me his first box, he ended up getting the Charizard. And I'm like, oh man, we should have just traded boxes. But it's all good. <laughs> um, Let's see. These are all the Celebrations boxes that I've opened up as well. And then again, I put in another Zapdos EX. And then we have the Pokemon Go. And then... Yep, this is the Leafy and V-Star box that we pulled. Um, th this was a box that I opened, like, years ago already. Probably, maybe realistically, maybe like a year and a half ago, I think. Or is it? I I get I get the last couple years already, like, mixed up, y'all. Um, these are going to be a lot of Pikachu Vs. I opened up a lot of those boxes. I opened up a Pikachu V Union box as well. Then the celebrations of the uh, big cards, which I do have a full complete set of that as well. These are, I believe, some of my leftover ones. Um, yeah, see, we're kind of doubling back. There's going to be lots of duplicates in these binders really quick. Um, not trying to bore you all too much. All right, here we go. Here's some new stuff. This is the 25th Celebrations uh, boxes of the Dark Sylveon and Dragapult, which this card, put it in a deck and play with it. It is an awesome card. Um, see, already we already got duplicates. But, let's see. I know they release these every couple weeks with the first partner packs. Which I thought was pretty sweet. I'm, I, I, I felt like I was like one of the only ones that was collecting this up. Yeah, yeah. So this one's like the full complete set of the first partner packs. Then another Pikachu V and Lance's Charizard to to end that off. So, yeah, no that that to me. I I, I had so much fun with those partner packs, y'all. Like, here's how many that I've opened up, alright? Like, because it came with a couple booster packs. Along with the, oh, double V, Poltergeist V, or Beetle V, more Pikachu, Edelgrass V, Heterny, Double, Surfetched, um, alright, Shadow Rider. Eternatus, Venusaur, then Bulbasaur, Turtwig, Piplup, Chimchar, Trico, Mudkip, Torchic, Chikorita, Totodile, Cyndaquil. Like, that's, that right there, I, I had so much fun with those first partner packs. Again, I, 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 we're going to cover, uh, we're going to go through some of these vintage decks. Um, Brush Fire. And I know this is a base set too. I do have a, an original base set Lightning Bug. I want to say I think this one is XY Evolutions though. I felt like just for funsies. 
Yeah, this is XY Evolution. So I had leftover. I, I, I still have a ton of leftover XY Evolutions bulk. So what I did was I took the, the vintage card list of the base set of this deck. I was like, let's build one, but like modernize it with XY Evolution since the power levels are much higher than base set. So this would be the same, almost the, the same identical deck that you would normally get with the vintage cards but i obviously had to update update it just a little bit um just for my playability but yeah that's exactly what you would have gotten except cards would not be xy evolutions they would be base set vintage um and again we'll i'm about to get this box art and all the all the goodies here on the camera so y'all can actually read freeze frame whatever you want to do but yeah this is again I, I i try to keep these well loved and well played i i did play pokemon almost every single day of my life when this first came out and uh again i used to play over at wizards of the coast where they had a brick and mortar store at my local mall and uh got a very old pikachu coin um, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, here's here's the card list. Oh my gosh, this is when they had complete fossil card list, complete jungle list, base set, base set two, team rocket card list, and here's here's all the other decks, y'all. I want to say I think the only ones I, I, I really skipped out on was the uh, Magmar deck. Because I already collected all of those cards. So if I really wanted to, I could build that deck. I I was more attracted to the, uh, the Bodyguard deck for the playability as a kid. And I don't really know why. And I do have these, these two as well. The Devastation and Trouble theme decks. But I, I felt like base set two, like it, it's it was a nice callback. Obviously, they they did like a reprint. Oh wow, a revive. Why is why is that revive in there? I don't remember ever putting a revive. But huh, that's that's a really clean card. I think it's an X Y Evolution though. But yeah, like. I just love this artwork, just the old school throw, like just the 90s artwork on all this, just this, this already, like, I, 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 I don't want to mess around with that too much because I don't want that to eventually um, lose its condition a bit. Let's see, let's go into the vintage brush fire deck. Um. Again, this I I did modernize this one since I got four or five brush fire theme decks. We'll definitely go through the the base set ones, but this is exactly what you would have gotten with the uh, vintage. Um, obviously I got my own uh set up in here. Yeah, see, because that that's a zero aura. You never would have gotten that. You you would have got that the Chansey and the blue and yellow uh markers um damage counters but yeah oh my gosh like again i will dig out from my walking closet all the other theme decks because i i really want to showcase all the original theme decks but let's go through this brush fire and the highlight of the brush fire is the nine tails that uh it would have been a nine tails hollow card that you would have gotten in this theme deck. But again, just these are XY evolutions, but still these are like modern updated cards of the base set. Um, I, I know it's kind of hard to just, Again, I just get flooded with all the memories, and this this is a beauty about 
card games or just having something that you've collected your entire life is your brain just remembers all the amount of joy, all the amount of just innocence. Of just having fun and just really like, I, I feel like back then you don't really have to worry about a single thing, um, <laughs> like you would do now. Just again, I, I felt like growing up as a kid, just time just moved so much slower, and that's what made the hobby fun. Which is why you know I could go on and on about story after story and story and psych like, uh, just. The amount of fun that I had playing Pokemon, and the amount of fun I still have playing Pokemon, like, it's really bring, it truly brings me a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. Like, it's indescribable at this point. Like, like I said, the, the caliber of, I never would have thought, like, being a kid, I'd, 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 I'd have the opportunity to, to collect all these cards from, like, 98, 99 to current, like, this, just seeing the whole evolution of what the game was early on, seeing how it all evolves and changes now, like, it's still the same, but the power levels, I cannot <laughs> stress that enough, like, the power levels of these modern cards, like, back in the day, like, yeah, Charizard was, like, kind of the it card for, like, playability because it did the most damage, but, man, I remember just, what, if you go back to, like, Kadabra, I played a lot with Kadabra because at that time where we couldn't really, fo I, I, I never wanted to play with my Charizard cards ever, but I, I remember playing with Kadabra a lot because that, that card, it was, what, like, a 4 energy cost for 50 damage? 50 damage back then was, like, big numbers, but now it's, like... I look at these new cards, and it's like, man, freaking two, three energies for, like, 250 damage. I'm like, what? Dude. <laughs> this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Like, yeah. Like, here. Like, here again. I'm going to bring out one of my jungle set Nidal Queens here. Look at that. Four drop <laughs> just to use 50 damage on that Mega Punch. And yeah, you could get away with it if you had a double colorless. And so it technically that'd be like three, a three drop essentially for 50 damage. But just that was, that was big numbers back then. Like some of y'all kind of forget that. Like, man, the, the older cards, but again, change of the times get with the modern times and it, it's i i'm still again i'm having a blast i have my charizard deck here and we haven't even like gone through all my other decks i i got about like 20 other decks off off camera just i that that that's how much i still play this game so anyways um we'll do more box openings here soon but uh as always thanks for stopping by um thanks for checking out the channel Feel free to keep watching your favorite videos that I have on here for some of y'all. Just, I, just, you watch whatever you want to watch on, on my channel as well. Um, uh, but yeah, as always, stay safe, have fun, stay tuned for more. Deuces forever.